What's up, YouTube? Dream Killer coming at you in another video. And I just want to discuss something that's been brewing in my head for the past couple of days. Uh, after Sony recently revealed some big, big stuff coming their way. And, you know, I feel the need is time to talk about it. So let's just get started by saying uh, a couple days ago, Sony did their little press conference revealing two things. They revealed, one, a slimmed down version of the original PS4 and the pretty much already was talked about PlayStation Neo, which is now being called the PlayStation Pro. And after going through the process in my head about what this means for Sony, and this also adds to what Microsoft is going to be doing in the upcoming years or so, it got me um, thinking, you know, that... You know, in my mind, the way Sony and Microsoft are going about their business practices, releasing so many versions of the exact same console they already released, it's kind of bad for them consumer-wise. Because let me get let me get to this first. Like, first of all, we already said Sony's got their slim model and their PlayStation Pro, which is supposed to compete with Microsoft's slim down console and the upcoming Xbox One Scorpio, which is both the Pro and the Scorpio are supposed to be having qualities that try to put them on par with what PCs are capable of, have been capable of for years. And, you know, that's all fine and dandy that they want to be able to compete with that market while at the same time trying to put out a better product. But at the same time, they have to realize at the end of the day that when they put these consoles out come holiday season, a majority of the people that are buying these consoles are parents, grandparents, and uncles and aunts that are buying these for their kids. And it's not just us, you know, big time gamers like you and me. It's, you know, families that want to make their kids happy, you know, buy them that one big, you know, gaming console that they wanted and put in their holiday wish list for a long time now. And what they fail to understand is that these parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, they don't understand this stuff at all. They don't understand like the specs behind all these consoles, what they should buy, what anything they should buy for this. And it's, it's confusing from a consumer standpoint. And ultimately at the end of the day, I think it's going to fucking cost them in the long run, especially with Sony. Sony had a good run when they started this console generation with the PS4. If, Blue off shells more so than the Xbox One then because Microsoft done fucked up. But now it seems that there's going to be a flip of the coin where Microsoft seems to be getting their shit together and Sony is kind of pushing themselves towards not being number one anymore. And, you know, you can make the argument that, you know, Sony was never one, number one to begin with. You know, they it's whatever. But they were... You know, on top when this console generation stopped, and now they're slowly starting to dwindle, and and Microsoft starting to get their shit together and coming on top like they did with the 360. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I think that both companies are going to suffer greatly by releasing so many different versions of one console because, again, consumer standpoint wise, it's going to be so damn confusing. And at the end of the day, no one's going to give a shit if they can't, you know, figure out what they need to get, what they can't get. And I just think it's going to suffer money-wise for them in the long run. As for me-wise, I don't really care whatsoever because I have a PS4. I have an Xbox One. I don't need to get an upgrade version because at the end of the day, all these things, all these brand new spec consoles just do is just up the resolution graphics-wise. Like for the PS4 is supposed, and the Xbox One for that matter, are supposed to support 4K gaming, but what they don't realize is not everyone has a 4K TV. No one's buying into the whole 4K bandwagon like like all these tech gizmos who want to get into it. Like me for myself, I can't afford a 4K. I know and I don't want one because at the end of the day, I don't care about if my TV has the greatest resolution on the planet. As long as I can see something that looks really pretty and it works, it works. I don't need anything to be more pretty than what it already is. That's what these people fail to understand is that these people don't have, the consumers don't have the latest everything. And again, it's going to bite them in the ass money-wise because 
putting so much effort and money into this is just bad business, in my opinion. So at the end of the day, I do hope that maybe Sony and Microsoft won't suffer in the long run, but I feel like that's going to be inevitable. But at the end of the day, whether Sony and Microsoft don't come out of this easy, like if they don't succeed and they figure to themselves, well, maybe it's time we, you know, fruit, fruit, throw in the flag, throw in the towel or whatever and give up on the console market, you know, we still have PCs, and we still have Nintendo. You know, Nintendo will always be there, no matter who they're competing with. Like back in the day when they were, back in the day they were fighting against, you know, Sega, and then Sega left. They were still on top, and now Sony and Microsoft they're competing with them. Now, possibly Microsoft and Sony will be out of this, but Nintendo will still be on top. And again, PCs will always be there. They've been with us for years even before consoles even started. That's what I wanted to get at. I, it's been picking at my head for the longest time. I feel like I need to get out my opinion about this. Now, what I want to do is, you know, in the comment section down below, I want you all to give your opinion. Do you think, you know, releasing various versions of one console is bad for consumerism? Do you think it's going to bite Sony and Microsoft in the long run? And do you think micro or not Microsoft, Sony is not gonna succeed with what they're doing with the xbox pro and the slim comments down below i always look forward to seeing people's opinions and if you like this video hit the like button because my channel grows because of it and subscribe because as always i have many more videos like this to come thanks for watching guys i'm dream killer gamers keep on gaming